What's going on guys, Marijn here and welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna to show you how to take the perfect fitness Instagram photo. Now to some of you this may sound very strange or weird, some of you may not be on Instagram, it can also be a photo in general, just a photo in which you showcase your perfect physique and like obviously you want your face to look nice as well. I'm gonna get into all this stuff. Just want an all around nice photo where you can showcase all the hard work because it really does make a difference how you take a certain photo and there are definitely some tips that I can give you guys. Now if you think this is all stupid and weird, then simply click away this video and watch some of my other videos because I have a lot of videos where I give tips on fitness, nutrition, etc. Instagram often gives you a false perspective of how things are. It might be a bit misleading and that is because everyone wants to put out their best photos which is obviously very logical, but some people don't realize that. So I'm gonna show you guys that today because I'm all about transparency. I show you guys how it really is. So first of all, I'm gonna show you guys a photo with no bump, haven't been to the gym yet. I'm actually at the gym, I'm about to hit a workout. So afterwards, I'm gonna show you the after photo. The lighting here is not great. It's uh, not the shittiest lighting. I could have picked even worse lighting, um, but it's definitely not great. And now you can see if you take a photo here, um, I'll definitely not look amazing because there's no light on top of me. There's actually a light behind me. Um, it's a little bit dark. There's no light directly from above that sh actually shines on my physique. So since I'm super lean at the moment, I actually kind of like still look good in bad lighting. Am I giving myself too much credit? No, you look good. <laughs> actually, like, like I, I really think I do, but I don't look like this all year round. Okay, right now I'm in a cutting phase. I'm losing fat. I'm like in the best shape of my life. This is not something I can sustain throughout the year. Okay, so you are actually seeing me at my best point, but still I'm going to show you guys how this photo is even going to be way more next level. So first I'm gonna hit a workout today. It's an upper body day. I don't train specifically for a photo because I take an Instagram photo every single day, uh, but definitely an upper body pump will help with a photo. Only push-ups would actually be enough to make a considerable difference compared to having no pump at all. But if you wanna take a photo where your legs are also on it, then make sure to take it before training legs. Uh, same thing goes for abs. If you like really pump up your legs, um, they will not have as much definition, uh, so they will not look as good on a photo. They will actually have more mass, so they will be bigger in real life, but on photos you will not really see definition like the stripes on them. I'll show you guys an example on the screen. So legs are the only muscle you don't really want to train before a photo shoot or a competition either. Um, and then when it comes to abs, I also feel like if you do a lot of reps and you train abs very heavy, uh, then the blocks kind of go away. The separation is not the same either because they get a little pumped up. Um, one or two sets is fine, but don't do it too much. When it comes to upper body, more is better. Uh, arms, a lot of volume will obviously like make them really big. Will make your veins really pop out, etc. So we're gonna hit a workout. I'm gonna show you guys afterwards how we take the perfect photo. Just hit a workout there. If you wanna see the full workout and do it yourself, make sure to hit the link in my switch box down below. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to take the perfect photo. As you can see here, the light is amazing and that's because it is a down lighting. So the lighting comes from above and you'll see that I look a lot different if I stand here. And you'll see that I look a lot different now. And then when I hop into the lighting, all of a sudden the veins appear. So it does make a massive difference. Proper pump is also very important for the photo, I assume. Get Back at it. pump right before the photo. <clears throat> <laughs> All right. A major hack here to look bigger is to use the side angle. Because from the side, your arm looks a lot bigger than when you do it from the front. Right now, it probably still looks pretty okay because I have definition because I'm very lean. But if I'm not lean, it just looks like one big ball of meat. The one thing that I like to do to appear bigger on the photo and to look better is to actually really turn to the side. Because then the waist gets small, your shoulders go to the side, which makes the V taper a lot bigger, which is basically the ratio from your waist to your shoulders. So what you do is you turn, and you go like this. Another little trick I got here for you guys, and this is a big one that people often tell me, and they tell me, oh, Mariah, you're actually not that big, but you're using this trick to make your arms look bigger. Very true, okay? So the thing you actually do is you don't hold your arm like away from your body, but you actually push it through the side. Okay, see here. What also helps is that my triceps are really big. Triceps make up two thirds of your arm. It looks a lot different than when you actually pull it against your body, right? So you kind of like use it to like push all the muscles out. It's probably even illegal to like fuck it. Same thing you do with your chest. You're like, you flex it by pushing it like this. 
feel it looks a lot different than just standing like this, right? Now when you flex your arms, you don't necessarily want to do it like this. But again, you want to like push them against your sides and do it like this. See, it makes a big difference, right? It's all Instagram angles. Next important tip is that you want to make it look effortless, right? So you don't want to like, you don't want to look like you're flexing super hard. So one way to do it, uh, first you gotta like kind of train your face, right? Because when, right now I'm, I'm flexing super hard, right? I can't even talk. But on the photo you don't see it because like, how you doing? But in reality, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this eating. Right, so um, you kind of like want to train your face in that way because you don't want to look. You don't want to look like that. So one important thing also, it just kind of like looks more effortless, I feel, is to actually like look that way. You don't want to look completely to the side because you still want to see your face a little bit. Like look that way, so be flexed. And you can flex your jaw at the same time because that kind of like helps flex your whole body. Just like flex it and then you can kind of like look effortless. If you want to smile, make sure that someone makes you really laugh because otherwise it's gonna be like. I <laughs> look. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, who are you? This is good because now I was really laughing the second one, but the first yeah. one looked probably looked like so fake. Right? <laughs> Almost my forgot to take a photo, so now we gotta do the before after photo. Stan is in the gym as well, so I'm gonna use him as an example too. It's pretty shitty lighting here, as you can see. Shitty physique. Do you it's even lighting. lift, bro? Oh. And now let's head into the good lighting. So you're standing to the side now. When I get lower, see, arm gets bigger. Camera hacks right there. You, when you like press the arms together, as you can see, you get like a lot bigger. So I hope you guys enjoy these little tips and tricks of how to create the perfect Instagram photo. I know this has been a little bit of a random video. I woke up this morning and I got this idea because I read a comment and I've actually got this comment so many times. I decided to just show you guys how I do it on a daily basis because you have to realize that this sort of is part of my job. It might sound crazy to some of you guys, but there's many guys and girls out there that do Instagram for a living. Um, I don't, Instagram is not my only platform, my only source of income or my only source of you know driving traffic towards the online businesses that I run. But it is definitely one of them and it is one of my daily tasks to create a cool photo. There are obviously many different poses you can do, many different lightings, many different settings. Today I kind of showed you the gym setting and like the down lighting. In my opinion, that is the best to look the most muscular you can possibly look, but there's also different kind of looks, more like the outside, more urban style, more fashionable looks that are still fitnessy. There's like a lot of different things you can do. And if you're also interested in knowing what kind of filters I use and what kind of like editing programs for my photos, then comment that down below because I might make a separate video talking more about that because that also obviously makes the photos stand out and makes it even better. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.